or rumor or hearsay. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Hi guys, welcome to the show. Joseph set Hoppy up today, so that's why the angle was a little. You know what? I forget we have this wide angle, so we're gonna slide him over just a little bit more. Let's let him showcase. I almost put my hat here with him, but it doesn't. For some reason, because it's so dark, it doesn't show up as good right there. I almost wore the hat because I'm not having the best hair day today. I'm really not. I'm just going to, we're just going to hope, hope for the best. We, I didn't put any product in it. it. I mean, the color shows up really good. Now you can actually see what color it is. It's, it's kind of a medium to dark brown. That's my normal hair color. But anyway, um, I hope everyone's having a good day. I'm having a good day. I feel like... Um, this new, um, format for the, the show, oh, I didn't mean to do that, sorry. Let me click undo. There we go. We got it right now. Um, I feel like this, this new format is nicer. I like doing this, like, um, only doing one show a week. Um, I really do like that better. I feel like this, this is the way to go. Um, it's easier for me to, and I'm sure it's easier for you guys that follow along, but it's easier for me to uh, remember what we've been doing and get into it quicker. Whoa. So the last time uh, we played, we cleaned out Sunshine Tidings Co-op. Matter of fact, let's uh, grab us some lovely Tato Blossoms. I went ahead and loaded up the game and everything. And so now all we've got to worry about. Oh, I also discovered something in my own personal playthrough, which I'm gonna I'm gonna show you in just a second. I'm gonna grab these tater blossoms real quick. Um, and I don't know if you guys know this or not. I'm kind of an, I'm always the last to find out, and it's usually by accident. Let's go. I'm not. We're not gonna spend a lot of time in in, in like settlement building or anything. But uh, I want to show you one thing in the settlement building menu, right? Let me run over here, and I usually clear this area first because this is where I have all my uh, settlers that come here work at first until I have enough to like do the other two farms. But I did not know until very recently that you can actually take these uh, tato blossoms and really like replant them. I had no idea. Did you guys know about this? Am I really the last to know? And if so, why why did no one tell me? I feel like I trusted you guys and you guys let me down. I have like 4,000 hours in, in Fallout and yet no, I had no clue about this. So what I, I did in my, in my private playthrough was um, I took them all and I put them all wow. over the roof. Professor Goodfields. I moved them all over here to this first one, this first plot, this first line that's been like hoed up or whatever. Also, there's got to be a mod for like running in, in settlement mode. There's got to be. There's got to be a mod for that. Also, for those of you who don't know, I did my, um, I did my due diligence, I guess you could say. Um, I just, I, I know what's wrong with Professor Goodfellows there. Um, why he disappears. There's a script that he runs on that it's not activated properly, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's how it was explained, but, um, it's not activated or enabled and because it's not when you leave and the cell resets he disappears now you can you can um like you can spot him in with console commands which i don't like to do um but there's a mod out there there's actually two different mods and one of which i thought about getting but the, it's it's very technical it's not like a nexus mod menu installation it's it's, um, what's the word? Uh, it's manual installation, and it's very technical. And what is that over there I'm seeing? I just heard my front door open. Joseph must be going 
to pay some bills. He did say he was going to be doing that. Where is my... Which one is the one? I had a combat rifle. No, combat rifle. What's that? Where? Oh, where? Combat sniper rifle. Okay, first of all, let's fave that. Put that in number three position and then grab it. Hold up. Fucker would be a suicider, would he? Oh, he coming. And he's by himself? That's so stupid. Oh, wow. I'm not trying to shoot the truck. Oh, I watched that thing light up and tick once, and I was like, oh, this is it. We're, we're going down. But luckily, nothing bad happened. What's weird is, like, the, the, the suiciders don't have any of their loot on them normally, besides maybe a cap or two and the nuke, right? Which, realistically... What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Now they want to spawn in. Oh, that had to hurt. I don't understand why those uh, mines were there on the ground. Now I'm on fire. This synth is on fire! Yeah, don't ask me to do that again. I'm just gonna grab everything. And now we're gonna go look at their orders. What were the Super Mutants orders? Which, if anyone's played this game or main times like I have, they don't work. But I always read them. I don't know why. I always read them. Kill, loot, return. Now, here's the thing. Where are we returning to? We already looted all of that stuff, but we're going to continue our explanation. We're gonna jump down this little thing and then just slide. <coughs> I don't know why I went, ooh. is it in game 710 that's why the light is this color it's very very dusky it's dusky rose we are at Walden Pond. oh you know what we're not gonna go in there not yet anyway are we no are we no This is a cute little cabin. It really is a cute little cabin. I feel like there's gonna be an animal here. Like, oh, yep. Well, critters more like it. It's like a bear or dogs over here. It's not normally blood bu blood bugs. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. Oh, there's a tree stump. I was like, what am I looking at? There's two guys here in one bed. Which, again, I'd be the last person to have a problem with that. But I'm like, Bethesda likes to throw a lot of things in here sometimes that you're like, hmm, you know? Oh, we're gonna go in there.
I'll tell you something else um, about this lovely mod, um, Loot Detector. Like I said, it doesn't just detect loot, it also detects, like, um, doorways that you wouldn't find. I have literally found new areas to explore because of Loot Detector, like, um, like hidden uh, basement hatches and stuff like that. Like I'm, I'm in love with this mod. This mod, and it's it's so simple. You install it, turn it on, and the and as soon as you equip um, one one point into the scrapper perk, that's it. Game over. Oh wait, is that glowing fungus? Hello. We're gonna go into the drainage pipe. Yeah. Just make sure there was nobody there. Due to the random nature of, of uh, stuff, I'm always afraid like I'm gonna come into this pipe and there's gonna be like ghouls in here or something. So this guy made sure he had everything he needed before he started his camping trip in that little shack up top. Double checked his list and everything. And that's why they call it being the robe. Oh, and this guy invented trans, uh, trans Trains dentalism, moron. It's transcendentalism, you, like you moron. How the hell you know all this? I read a book that one time, when we ran out of grognacks. I wish I could read. Uh, Bear is about to have a really bad day. I'm just saying. And Tweez? Who comes up with these names? <laughs> For them. Still sitting in the chair. That's cool. I like when when you kill them. Like if they're still kind of like holding their pose. I mean, I don't need all the stuff, but I'm taking all the stuff anyway. You guys know. You guys know what time it is. What the hell is? I'm hitting something over here, and it's not just the rocks. Like, there's like some kind of weird collision. Tales of Junktown Jerky. Nice. What is it? Better prices. Yes, we'll take that. See you too. Yeah, well, uh, Walter. <gasps> oh, I get it. Oh, hey, C Game. It's good to see you in chat, dude. Um, I don't know. I haven't heard from him today. I talked to him a little bit yesterday, but um, I hadn't talked to him today. I just get. It. I just got it. This is like a little. Um, this is so cool. This is kind of like a little meth lab in here. And this guy's name is Walter, like Walter White. I just realized what's going on here. I know what time it is. And whiplash. Not sure why the name Whiplash. Just, I mean, not sure why. And how are you doing today, Mr. Seagam? Fragmine, Mintats, Molotov Cocktail, a pinna, Radex, Radaway, Silver Fork, and Stem Pack. This one's called Very Nice. Oh, look at the little puppy. I love the little puppy. 
Um, I'm very much in, in loving on puppy mood right now because today at work, everyone was showing pictures of their puppies and I didn't have any pictures of puppies. I just showed them a picture of a really cool rock I found. Like that's as close as I'm going to get to uh, uh, having a pet right now until we get like a house house that, you know, we can do whatever we want in. I really do want a dog. I want a dog and I want a cat. I know, all I do is play the game wrong. But you know what? If I if I started playing it right, you guys would think I was um, a synth, so. I guess that would be kind of like, okay, I guess if I was a synth, considering I'm playing a synth, or maybe I'm a synth playing a human, and but reversing it so you people don't catch on. Maybe I'm a Cylon. I'm doing okay. Um, I took a nap. And you guys know how much I love my naps. I took a nap today because I left work really early. I ran out of hours very quickly on. So, like, I took a nap. And I have no regrets taking that nap. But I regret waking up so, so quickly after falling asleep. I'm tired. I'm old. I used to... You know what? I used to be, like... Oh, why, are, why is it? Why are old people always napping? Now I get it. 100% get it. Wait, isn't there? A, oh, there is. There's a trigger. Can I move this? Let's move that there and see if I can't disarm. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Oh, nope, I can't. So I guess I'll just... There we go. I remember the first time I ever came through here on a character, and I didn't know anything about this place. I triggered every mine, and it's literally like you're running around trying to avoid the explosions, and not only are the mines exploding, but they're shooting out like, like shopping baskets that are made from metal, and I'm like, this is genius. The only place that's even better is like, I think it's the Kendall parking lot. It's literally a gamut that you have to run and it's nothing but booby traps. Just looking around. I know there's more, I, th I think there's at least one more uh, explosive in here. I mean, unless I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there was just the two. I could have sworn there was more. Huh. I guess I was wrong. That's so weird. Okay. And now we're back to where we started. So apparently this little cabin right here was where Thoreau, I guess it was David Thoreau, he stayed. What's with the little, can I, I can't jump up into that little hole, can I? Nope, nope, there's no jumping up in there. I can no clip it, but I don't feel like opening up the console right now. I make it sound like it's so hard to do, but I just don't feel like it. And I always kill all the birds I can, because I always feel like they're spying on me. There's something blue over there. Oh, that's just mongrels. We're not concerned. I say that, and we're, like, headed right for them. No, we're actually going to go in this direction, I think. Oh, that's a log. I was like, what am I looking at? A giant crawfish? Like, what in the hell am I looking at? Bad guys. Bad, bad guys. Ooh, what 
what we got here. I was just a rad psycho. I'm not worried. All right, we're going to go check out this right here. I'm not sure what this is over here. There's a house right there. What are we looking at? Oh, Jesus. Hello, Mr. Flying Robot. Um, I guess there's only one word, and it's only. Got it. I'm trying to wake up, guys. I'm sorry. I know I'm not being as super talkative as I normally am, but I'm really struggling to wake up. Alright, there's Drumline Diner. And there's like a little housey house over here. Did we already investigate this house? I don't remember. There's a super mutant in there. Super mutants are so stupid. Oh, you go hide. You can't hide from me when I have crits built up. Sorry, Valen. Can't help it. I'm gay. I love saying that. That's so fun. All right. Um. Sorry to say. Oh, I know where I'm at. I mean, I did know where I was at, but I mean, like I really know now. I don't think I can open this, honestly. Unless it's just a lockpick. No way I could pick this. Yeah, I can't. But I can apparently loot something in there. Let's see what else. Is there anything else I can loot? Shot. And you know what? We actually do have a level up, but I'm not going to throw it into lock picking. I want to get my armory up some more. I got to get six points in armoring so I can make some good um, stealth armor. Sneaky, sneaky, snipey, snipey. You guys know me. been here already? We've been to Lexington, but not to the Red Rocket here. That's right, because we had to clean out Corvega. You'll notice that these Red Rockets that I'm going to be coming across 
are slightly, and I mean slightly, different from yours in your playthrough. It's a mod. Haha. -ha. Um, every red rocket is now a settlement. In my personal playthrough, actually, my private character, I'm, I've turned this little store right here that's open into an actual, like, weapon and armor store. Like, like for, like, weapons and armor. And then the rooftop has a, um, there's an elevator, like, right here, basically. And then the rooftop has, um, housing and a greenhouse, I believe. And then in here is just, like, all your crafting workbenches. And then out here is really nothing yet. I haven't decided for sure what I want to do. I might put a greenhouse out here on the front or on the side or something. And I have turrets up there on the corner of that roof on top of that vehicle. There's one on top of this car. And I believe one over here somewhere. I could be wrong. But that's how I have it set up on my, my private playthrough. I could hop in and show you guys, but I just don't feel like it. Honestly, I just don't feel like it. Yeah, the bodies have not despawned, so we should be good. What am I looking at over there? Don't see anything. I think we're good. I'm just looking around, just seeing what I can do real quick on my way. from that turret that was up here. did it. Those are tar berries. Hello. Come on, get up, get up. Can I please get the tar berries? Is it just me, or is that little bit of music it just played, that, that's playing right now, isn't it kind of reminiscent of um, Resident Evil 2, like when you get to the police station? All right, here's the apartments, which we're not gonna go into right now. I'm trying to Carefully, aha, there it is. Just making sure. And I can't unlock Locks really it, so. strong. But I wanted to make sure I got those uh, mines up off the ground so when I run through here at a later date, it doesn't blow me to Smith Arenes. Because believe it or not, I don't always play in God mode. I don't always play in God mode. Sometimes I just run around and kill shit and loot shit. Because really, all you need to be at is about level 10, and you start already, like, kind of OPing stuff until you get to, like, the glowing sea or something. Wait. What? 
just exploded. Something just went boom over here. Oh, I, oh, it's the, um, the named. Yeah, we're not worried about you, Sally. She's Mustang okay. Sally, in fact. just um, second phase shoot me with did you guys see the tracer on that felt like I was on drugs well it's better than raider gear but not by much the only reason I'm going to keep it is because it's a legendary. I keep all my Legos. I do. I keep all my Legos. This bitch was running around with a pull cue. They did not like her. Come get this shotgun. That would have been better than what she had. I see a rad stag. I'm going to leave the rad stag alone, actually. I'm not going to mess with him. And sometimes. Creepy critters like to spawn here. Apparently not this time. Make me a liar. I like opening up all the doors in case I'm getting chased by something. Oh, hello. 19 caps. I'll take it. I really will. And I think at my level, the gun that's going to spawn on the roof is not going to be like anything really to write home about, but it's not going to be the worst either. This is actually not a bad place to build right here, this particular red rocket. You're really, you're, you're close to, you're closer to Diamond City, although there's one really right outside Diamond City with a lot of flat ground. But this one here, um, there's traffic that comes through here. There's a couple houses to explore, so when the cells reset, you get some junk. There's enemies that will respawn. Ooh, that's a nice one. A hardened sniper rifle. We'll take it. realize that um, music was playing. I really hope it didn't pick up. <sighs> I don't want to get DMCA'd, I'm just saying. Sometimes, I, what it is, is um, I play it on my private playthrough, my personal character. Um, I generally tend to 
uh, stream music while I'm settlement building, which is something that I do a lot of in my private playthroughs. I love settle I love settlement building. It's one of the things I'm, I'm really fond of, and, and I actually hope it continues into the next Fallout game. I know there's a lot of there's a lot of people who are not fans of settlement building. I myself am, and there there might be a day where I'm like, you know what? We're just gonna settlement build today. That's all we're gonna do. It's not gonna be today, obviously. But it's a comment. Going through there, I'm going through here. What a fan and some monkeys. Monkeys is hunties. Oh my god, you guys! I am so low energy right now. I'm I'm just so tired. What in the world? That's them damn Brotherhood of Steel idiots. We are not doing a Brotherhood of Steel playthrough. I might go help dance, clear out our jet, but we're not doing a Brotherhood of Steel playthrough. We are not. We are. We got m so much more to do besides that. I'm sorry. And, and I believe that the consensus was that you guys wanted a railroad playthrough on this character because I'm playing an escape synth. So that's what we'll do. We'll do a railroad playthrough. I mean, you can kind of play all the factions up to a point. Once you get to a certain point, you, you have to make a choice. And that's the thing with the Brotherhood of Steel. Once you pick the Brotherhood of Steel and start that playthrough, if you, if you play it without mods, you can only have dance for a little while you have to either take over the Brotherhood of Steel or um, do away with dance and and I don't want to do that I really don't so we're not gonna mess with Brotherhood of Steel this time we'll help dance for a little bit but after that he's on his own This stream's only been running for 40 minutes. I feel like I've been here for an hour and a half. I'm so tired. You guys don't even know. Oh, I like that sectional sofa. That's cute. explosion. These guys are not playing. Oh! I'm getting there. Yes. No, I'm not trying to sleep. I'm trying to loot. Well, whoever lives in this house had a very nice sofa. They had some nice things, actually. Oh, there's another Excellent. magazine. There we go, we got a new magazine. Man, whoever did the Bean Town and Tears mod were like, they opened up all these I just heard like a real explosion. They did a good job with the like the, the junk decorating. I know that sounds crazy. But they did a really good job. Like the amount of detail in and like it's it's really just like junk. But the amount of care that they each each one of the houses is laid out differently, decorated differently. I appreciate hard work where they were hard work was, was done, you know?
Oh, that's the, uh, the robots. So, we're going to go ahead and go save Ada, and then send her off to, hello, old magazine. Nice. I now do 2% more damage against super mutants per magazines found. I'll take it. Where are these guys at? I forget. Oh, they're after me. They're not even after Ada at this point. Attention. Oh, bitch, got behind a tree. Like, that's gonna serve you. Like, that's gonna serve you any kind of help. Oh. Zoe's diary. We'll read that later, honestly. Jackson's head was attached from his body. I don't think I've ever seen that one before either. You know, if I wanted to, I could just loot everything and leave and not worry about Ada. It is an idea. It really is an idea. Acrobats, medium, raider. See, it's always raider crap. I hate that. There's a lot of freaking robots here, that's for sure. There's a body here. Shades. Oh, his head is literally... Look at this. His head's hovering above his body. And then when you loot him, it just disappears. Which, I'm sorry, that's... Did you guys see that? What the hell? That's crazy. That's the magic of Bugthesda. I'm gonna go talk to her. I just wanted to loot some stuff first. You guys know I love my loots. I wonder if she'll walk over here. I wonder if she'll make the trek. Let's go talk to her. My friends did not survive the attack. Thank you for assisting. I was certain to meet my end here as well. Are you okay? Are you okay? Physically, the damage is minor. But I am registering sadness and anger at the loss of my friends. It may sound strange coming from a robot, but they were my family. Again, I thank you for your efforts. I know they would have thanked you as well. I'm sorry for your loss. My name is Ada. This was the third time we've been attacked by robots like these. Even with the weapon and detection upgrades Jackson gave me, I was unable to defend them. Um, who's Jackson? Who's Jackson? Jackson was the leader of this caravan. He had a great mind for technology. In many ways, he is my creator. Mm -hmm. He installed all my current upgrades. Unfortunately, they were not enough to protect them from the robots. You're upgraded? Yes, modified using a robot workbench based on prototype schematics. The workbench allows for a wide range of robot modifications. Uh -huh. Perhaps if I had more sentry bot based defenses, I could have successfully defended my friends against those robots. 
Tell me about these robots. They roam the Commonwealth and claim to be restoring order. We've seen them fighting raiders, but they've also attacked innocents, settlers, merchants, and caravans like ours. We knew we ran the risk of encountering more of these hostile robots. I just noticed she's got a, um, a railway if only we had made the decision pin to leave. in her shoulder. So why did you end up staying? Our caravan specialized in mechanical repairs and trade. The Commonwealth has an abundance of salvage that would benefit our business. It was a calculated risk. You couldn't have known something like this would happen. The probability of attack was high. I should have forced our departure. In recompense, I will seek justice for my friends and stop these robots from causing further uh -huh. harm. I'm it's time everyone. to uncover the source and confront their leader, the Mechanist. Who's the Mechanist? Who's the Mechanist? The only information I have comes from the iBot broadcasts. The false claims of peace and justice. The only certainty is that these robots bring only death. You have shown willingness to aid others. I ask that you please assist me in stopping this mechanist. In return, I can give you the schematics to build your own robot workbench, so you have additional resources in this undertaking. I'll do it. I wish I had the proper vocal registry to express my gratitude. Now, we last saw a group of the Mechanist robots at the General Atomics factory. You may find information there that will lead us to the Mechanist. I will follow and assist with your permission. Alright. Yeah, let's go, Ada. General Atomics has valuable salvage. Chances are high the robots are still there. I saw something moving around behind her. something. He dead. Or disabled. I don't know what I just saw. I thought I saw a movement. I do see movement way down there. Alright, so I'm um, gonna take Ada. And we're gonna go back to the Red Rocket. And that's about to be her home. Wait, am I going the right way? You know, I can't just fast travel. What you doing back there? Oh, the laundry. Because once once you build them, they have to like deploy, basically. All right, we're gonna work on Ada first. We are going to upgrade her a little bit. Uh, let's rotate her just a teensy so we can actually see. I wish we could like really zoom in, but wait. Oh, we kind of can. Oh, we kind of can. That really is the best. We're going to give her hard armor. And then we'll return to her. Of course, I'll take her 
it's all fun on the toy, so I kind of like that. I actually like the assault ones. I just wore it. Uh, here we go. Hacking module, lockpick module. Another freaking explosion. Let's give her the. Let's give her the lockpick module. I feel like you have a better chance of getting loot or something useful out of something that's locked by a lock lock as opposed to something you have to hack. Oh wow, there's like really, okay, here we go. Right now she has the Assaultron left hand claw. Biochat, laser. It does 54 damage right now, that does 64 damage, and 27, I'm assuming shock energy damage? Hmm. Oh, wow, I can't really upgrade her yet. That What it is, is the more you kill robots and stuff and loot them, you'll start picking up mods that you can use. Sentry right arm and a right hand laser. Hmm. I actually kind of want to make her have. Oh, I can't do a. Um, well, ding dang it. I really can't do much with her. Protectron legs or Mr. Candy Thruster. Exceptional movement speed. Um, we'll give her storage power. And we'll give her better leg armor. I mean, it's the least we could do. And then we'll give her a. Gray's not so bad. Light blue paint. Uh, I don't know. That looks really gross. Orange, pink, red, white. You know what? Let's give Ada a white paint job. I just thought. It's always fascinating watching you create. Already she looks a little bit better, but we're gonna have to go kill a bunch of robots if we want to uh... Now I want to see what I can create. Just let's make a new automatron. Oh Cancel I don't have the stuff I need to just make one Well ding dang it It'll be alright um, I hope, hold on one second, I want to, I want to tab out for a second and check something. Yeah, sorry, I had to check something. I wanted to make sure my multi-stream was working. I, I meant to mention this earlier in the beginning of the stream, guys, but I am actually multi-streaming to both YouTube Live and I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe Facebook Live. So, um, we'll see. What's up? Hit him first. How you doing? We just rescued Ada, who, bless her heart, she just wants to keep up with me. Bless her heart. She's trying so hard. Alright, so. We need to go... Where did she say we needed to go? I can't remember. 
It was someplace she said I needed to go. There's Mr. Robot. I'm not gonna mess with him because he's not he's not hostile. He's just walking around the collegiate building like la ti da. We're actually gonna go back down to where we were a second ago. When we picked her up and killed a single ghoul, which sparked a huge explosion. Oh! Hello, dude. Hi. Oh, he's a scavenger. Want to do some trading? Oh, he's a trader. I'll take a look. Okay. Sure. Let's make some money. Oh, he ain't got that much money. Oh crap. He I'll take the coolant and the duct tape. I guess I'll take that too. Ding dang it. He really ain't got nothing. Get rid of that raider arm. Excuse me. Oh, uh, metal stuff. I keep the chess pieces because they break down in with and they'll give you adhesive. I start my weekend. I'm the. I am loving. I, well, I say that I've only done the mechanist layer. I think twice. It is a lengthy one, and I actually appreciate that. I hate when they're like, oh, we're giving you some new content, and you blast through it in about a half hour to an hour. I'm like, are you kidding me? I like how um, the the this, this um, Automatron DLC actually sends you into more than one location and more than one interior cell. I actually really like that. I, am, I just want to lay down. I am not feeling it today, guys. I, you, have, you guys have no idea how much I'm pushing. I have to stay up long enough to finish the stream and then eat because we didn't eat when I got home. We didn't eat when I woke up from my nap. I just want to lay down. I just want to go to bed. I really do. I'm so tired. I, w I woke up tired. You know how it is. Sometimes you just wake up tired. I'll leave him with 29 caps so he can pay up. Uh, hello. Protect and serve. Yeah, you do that, dude. You know what would be kind of cool? Is if you have Ada with you and you pass by someone who has a robot with them. And they start, they start talking in like some kind of weird digital robot talk. That would be kind of cool. That's immersion, ladies and gentlemen. That's immersion. Alright, so we were over here. God, the constant loading of cells is, is aggravating. It wasn't doing this on my playthrough. And I actually, I believe I've already unlocked Ada on my, my personal character, but... I'm not doing the Automatron DLC content yet. I'm literally just running around unlocking all the settlements and building because that's my that's my building playthrough really. Okay, so we're back to where we started. And we're going to see about what's going on over here. As soon as the cell loads. Oh, I think he's down there cooking. I'm not sure. <sighs> We're doing steaks tomorrow, guys. Um, he got a good deal on some steaks today. If they did that, put subtitles in the take. Yes, yes, yes. Not maybe not even necessarily talking shit, but like they were like, um, I'll never understand these organics. 
I don't know why I had to do it in the robot voice, but they say things like, I'll never understand the organics, why they feel the need to uh, intake other organic compounds and then release more organic compounds. Like, that'd be hilarious. Where the hell am I? I'm close to something. Just not sure what... Oh, there's a cemetery out here. I don't think I realized there was a cemetery out here. Hmm. Wait, isn't there a critter or something over there? I could be wrong, but I thought there was a critter. Wait, how do I get... I'm having an issue with a lot of cell loading. How do I get... I wonder if I can... I can't get up there. Ding, dang it. Move, Ada. I don't want to be friends with you right now. Wait, there's a door there? There's a door here. Won't be able to pick this. I can't pick the lock. Well, ding dang it. Alright, well, I guess we're going to church. I'm getting some uh, Fallout 76 flashback vibes right now from this church. I've never lost anyone before. This failure is new to me. Oh, I can't go to the top of the tower. Oh my gosh. Oh, what is this? Oh, I can't loot the... Dang dang it. It sucks. Oh, wait. Who are those people? Farmer, raider, scum. Oh, are you kidding me? Trying to get where I can get a clean shot to basically all of them. Well, not that farmer. Okay, we'll kill this raider first. Not worried about that blood bug. We'll kill that raider next. And then the, this one last, because I've got kind of a cleaner shot to... Bye! It's the one in the middle I'm worried about. I don't... I'm trying really hard not to hit any of the farmers. Oh, there's another one. The farmer's attack! I must have hit one. Damn it! I was really trying not to kill the farmers. Oh. I didn't want to kill the farmers. This makes me sad. To be fair, with that haircut, he needs to die. I'm just playing. I, that's a horrible thing to say. His head spun around on his neck like he had no bones in it. Oh, definitely kind of like Pam. Pam? It's been a while. Like I said, it's been... Ada, are you in the water? She got out. She got out. She good. I was afraid she was gonna like sink to the bottom. Did you see me? I was like, hello? I really didn't want to kill the farmers. That makes me sad. Um This is like a shipping thing over here, isn't it? Like lucky Irish shipping or something like that? No, this is Poseidon Energy. Okay. Ah! Die! Die! I hate you. Oh, no, no, no. I don't even care about reviving cats right now. I can't stand bugs. I really can't stand. I can't stand bugs. That's actually not a bad one. 
I really hate knives. Like, um, if I'm watching something with bugs, that's one thing. Because it's like there's a separation between me and the bug. But, like, I. Ah! Where did you come from, dude? Oh! I hate bugs. Wait. Did she just say you don't scare me? No, because you're not organic. You can't die from a bug attack. What is this gumdrops? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. It's not like uh, an interior sound. You just go in. Alright, we're about to see if Ada can actually swim. Sorry about it, honey. You're about to get rusty. I'm not putting up with that. Not in my house. I'm cleaning the house. I do not like bugs dressing up. No. I will lose my mind. Hell yeah. Today. Ooh, 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 ooh. Lock picking's now easier. Maybe now I'll actually be able to um, pick some of those. Uh, oh, and a safe crackers? Oh, it's a raider one. You know what? I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm, there's been a mod I've been looking at for a while now. Is there anything in this water I can find? Find? I don't see anything. It would be really cool if there was like a hatch. And you unlocked a hatch in here and you went in it and like ended up in a whole other area. You know what? I really need to get the mod. I've got so many ideas for mods. I don't know where Ada went. I guess... She'll catch up. You'll catch up. You a big girl. Ooh, Jesus Christ. When I said you'll catch up, I, she meant it. She was like, yeah, I'm on my way. Um, are you kidding me? I don't even want to deal with you. I'm like, are you kidding me? Meanwhile, the other one's just wailing on me. Bye! I'm gonna have me some crawfish etouffee. No, no, no. We're going for the head. For the shell. No, we're going for the head. No, if I'm not mistaken, this is what was going to be about him. Isn't there some content, like, um, holotapes you can listen to or something where, like, you find out that Pam had something to do with the war, like they were doing war games or something, and she predicted that uh, an attack was imminent, like, was already underway. There's radiation over there. That's why my color just went bye-bye. Okay, where's... Oh, he went way over here. What am I looking at? Oh, I know where I'm at. We're not we're not investigating that today, because that's kind of a longer clear out. We are gonna go on the roof of this building now. If they're out there, we'll find them. Chances are they'll find us. see what's up here. It doesn't look like much of anything is up here. It'd be kind of cool, though, if there was, like, a, a big pipe that you could just, um, pull a hatch open on and climb through and just find a whole new area. Oh, there's something over there. Oh, can I get, how do I get over there? I think... Oh, I got up here. I did get up here. Haha. -ha. Ada, did you pull those guys? Ada, 
Ada, why do you suck so bad? I'm just looking to see if there are anything. Never now, they're gone. What do you think? Oh, there's a boat here. Oh. Ada says, let's get this done. Which I'm going to do most of the fighting. Thank you very much. She shocked him with something. Dripping goo. I don't like that. That's so gross. not far from Taffington Boathouse, which we have unlocked. There's no people there. I'm trying to figure out a good place to leave Ada, because I don't want her following me around everywhere. I guess I can send her to Ten Pines Bluff. There's already two people there, but the pro- okay, here's the problem. I'll have to send Ada to uh, uh, Grey Garden. The problem with Sending Ada anywhere is she's a robot. Anywhere you, any settlement you have a robot in, even if it's just one, you cannot raise your settlement happiness higher than 50%, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, other than using mods, which I'm sure there is one for it, but uh uh. That's fine. Joseph has showed up. And I'm actually going to pause for a second, guys, because uh, this soda is going right through me. I have to run to the bathroom and make a sissy real quick. So let me. Uh, pause this. I'm going to put it on the pause screen for a minute and I'll be right back. The sound's still on, so watch what you say. All right, and we're back. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, why is it not populating? Okay, I guess because I was tapped out. Is it? Yeah, okay, I was like, mm, getting scared. I was like, why is it not showing up? Okay, stream has survived. Okay, okay, that's Taffington right there. I'm trying to figure out what else. Are we coming up on? Oh, this is that same area that I didn't want to go explore. Alright, so we're actually going to swim. If you guys can believe it, we're just going to jump in the water. I'm coming over here to the bridge because there is a car 
we can loot somewhere. I saw it blowing. Tucker Memorial Bridge. Hello. Anything should attack us in this spot. But we're, we're close to catching a guy. I say catching a guy. We're going to find a guy over here. He's actually one of my all-time favorite settlers that you can recruit. I believe his name's Gordon. He's hiding in the bushes. He's so scared of me right now. Yeah? George. George. That's his name. Uh, looking for a new place to settle? You looking for a new place to settle? We're in the bushes. Hey. This is the what? weirdest conversation, good? the weirdest place to have it. We're going to send him to... Where are we going to send Let's just send him to Taffington. I don't have anybody there, so let's send him to Taffington. Thanks. See you there in a day or two. There he is. I don't mean it ugly, but he's kind of a bigger guy. Not like fat, but kind of solid. And he's armed. He's got, um, like, vault armor. Which makes you think that he's either, um, from vault itself, or he found the armor on either a corpse or killed somebody who had the armor. Either way, he's armed and armored up. So he's one of the ones that you don't really have to mess with too much. I think if you actually go to put like armor armor on him, it'll take off the vault tech armor because it has its own set of armor value on it. And this will take us up there. Oh, hello. I see meat fruit. Oh! Yeah, Dr. Kulex would love that. I don't think she'd love that mosquito. Making sure there's no more. Oh, that's creepy. All right, we're gonna call down the escapator. Here it comes. We may have already cleared this area out. I'm not sure. What's that glowing? Well, that's just a vehicle. Wait, what is that? Oh, rocks. Is that rocks? It's rocks, but there was another um, stingwing there. Yeah, okay. So, come on, Ada, get up here. She's barely making it. I bet you she's going to get crushed by this, uh... She didn't get crushed. But, I will say, I don't like it when the textures don't load in properly. I keep waiting for something to jump out at me. See what's in here. Move Ada. There's a bed. And that's it. Now I will say this. The 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 devs worked hard on on assets for Fallout 76. I feel like they did a really good job on on building the the assets and the world out. So I wouldn't mind if they use some of those same assets for the next Fallout game, which I'm sure they will. They tend to they tend to use pretty much the same assets at higher poly and whatnot, but they do. I'm just seeing what's up here. I don't do a lot of traveling up on the the upper highways. I think we're coming back to Lexington. Open that. Yeah, we're right over Lexington. There's really not much over here.
if you think about it, they really wasted a lot of potential. They could have built an entire city on these, these upper highways for like settlers or scavengers or something. They really could have done more with it. They had the potential to really, like, they had so much extra space, you know? We're coming up on something over here once the cell loads. Oh, this goes right into a building. Hello. And a dead person. Obviously, they weren't wearing their seatbelt. I've this never is... lost anyone before. These feelings of grief are new to me. Tell me it gets better. Shut up, Ada. This is if this if ever there was a really good PSA for wear your seatbelt when you're driving, this is it right here. Is that one of the- no, it's not one of the lights that tracks you. I was gonna shoot it down if it was. We've got a cooking station. A floor that's glitching. And that's really it. Guys, there's nothing really else in this area here. I hate when the textures don't load properly on. See, now, right here it is. It's loading properly. This is what it should look like. It should look like concrete. Not like gray pudding. Oh, I could go for some rice pudding. Couldn't you? Well, I like rice pudding, so there. Joseph always fights me on that. He likes tapioca pudding. I like rice pudding. You guys sound out in the comments on the video or on the live comments. And tell me what kind you guys like. Did I upgrade this already? Figure build limits increased by 100%. Okay, yeah, we did. Oh god, Ada, you scared me. You scared me. You scared me, Ada. I guess I can leave her at this settlement if I wanted to. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to send her. Now, when you go to send her... No, I can't leave her at this settlement. When you go to leave her at a settlement, you cannot leave her at a Red Rocket settlement because it's not a vanilla scripted settlement. Um, you can only send her to vanilla settlements, if I'm not mistaken. Like, like, like base game. When I say base game, I do mean the DLCs. You can send her to DLC settlements, if I'm not mistaken. But none of the Red Rockets that are, that are um, um, settlements due to a mod, they're not included. So I've already got a, um, a robot at Sanctuary that's Cosworth. So I'm just going to send her to Sanctuary. Hey. Yes, sir? Hey, Ada. How can I help? And then we're going to send her. Girl. I think it's about time we called it quits. I prefer to remain by your side, but I'll abide by your command. Yeah, we're gonna send her to Sanctuary Hills. And that's gonna be the last time we're gonna deal with her for a while. Bye, honey, you can go on. Are they dropping something off for you or what? She's just looking at me so sad. She's like, where are you? Why are you leaving me? I feel bad now. I've never seen her do that before. It makes me feel bad. She'll show up in Sanctuary eventually and be like, I've never been happier, sir. Like. <laughs> And there is, I don't know if you guys know this, but behind these weeds right here growing on this pipe is a door. 
into the sewer. So we're going to open it and see what's up. It might smell, it might smell like the poops. I guess we're not going to do anything until we level up again. We'll have to unlock master terminals, which sucks. Just looking around real quick. All right, we're going to go this way. Back over here to the Drumline Diner, ladies and gentlemen, because I feel like the Drumline Diner would um, be a successful stopping point as more than just the Drumline Diner. I feel like it would do a lot better if it was a settlement. So on our next playthrough, I'm going to show you guys how we're going to turn this lovely area here into an actual working settlement. I have a mod installed already. I haven't used it yet on this playthrough at all. Um, but I'll show you guys how we're going to go from this area here. I'm going to put our workbench probably, hmm, I don't know. I'll have to think about that, but the workbench will be somewhere back here. But there's there's a little bit of water back here and some building area back here as well down this hill if we so chose, which I have done that before. There's not much in terms of building on the roof without scrapping some of that. And I don't know if I can scrap some of it. It may be a situation where I'd have to scrap all of it. I don't know. We'll have to see about that. But there's enough area here in the area to build a little something. And I know we're right here by the uh, the little um, cinema. But I think that the Sunshine... Sunshine Titans. Drumline Diner should be a working settlement. There's another place in the game that I also feel should be a working settlement. But we haven't reached... It yet so we're going to hold off on that but this place here is going to become a custom settlement okay let's uh put the gun down real quick so I can Our zoom out car looks like a little, uh, doesn't it though did that thing just I hate those damn crows but anyway um this is where we're gonna leave it for today guys matter of fact why don't I get over here and like sit down in a chair where you guys can see that's I think this is where we're gonna leave it Let, let's uh let's save real quick because I'm really bad about relying on my exit saves and that's not safe that really isn't safe but this is where we're gonna leave it for today I know it's a shorter stream but we're gonna talk for a couple minutes at least because <sighs> I'm dying I'm hungry and I know Joseph is too and, um, I honestly, I could go without fries this time. Unless you just want fries, I could go without fries. I think I just want a burger. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Uh, let me switch to... That way it can actually expand a little bit. And it cuts off that part of the room in case you wanted to go ahead and... Oh, I'm sorry I didn't do much with my hair today, guys. I really, I just, I wasn't feeling it. I really wasn't. I woke up and I was like, I'm not doing anything. And what's weird is like I shaved yesterday and I told him, I shaved yesterday, but I don't look like I've shaved hardly at all. I'm real bristly. I don't know. It's just, 
There are certain times of the year where my hair grows faster. I don't know why. It's just, it is what it is. And my eyes look a lot darker than they normally do. Do my eyes look dark to you? Like maybe it's just the rain and not the rain. Cause it's normally like they dark. seem lighter than this. I could be c completely wrong. But I, I mean, my eyes do change color a little bit, but now they just seem darker. I'm on my heating pad, you guys. Not because my back hurts, but because I actually kind of have a chill. I think it's because... And, and this is real. Your body knows when the seasons start changing, and it will react accordingly. And I think um, even though I hustled all day long and was working and moving and working and moving at my day job, I just felt cold all day long for some reason. And it wasn't it wasn't very hot today, actually. That's another part of it. Matter of fact, when I went out to my car at 2.40 this morning to go to work, um, it was almost, almost cool. It wasn't hot at all, and it was a little humid, and when you match humidity to either heat or cold, it makes it seem more extreme, so that's probably what it was. Anyway, um, thank you guys so much for hanging out, even though it was a shorter one. Sometimes they're not all two hour long. Sometimes they're only like an hour. Sometimes they're only 20 minutes. It just depends on the internet, really, but today, I'm just, ugh, I'm tired, and I'm hungry. <laughs> I just want to eat and go to bed. <laughs> I'm going to get my tablet out and finish my episode of Allie McBeal I was watching if you guys aren't watching Ally McBeal on Hulu, you need to put that in your in your playlist. That is a really funny show. It's so funny. There's a little bit of drama in it, but it's mostly just crazy comedy. Um, it's got a really good cast. Uh, Jane, Kr Jane uh, Krakowski, uh, Calista Flockhart, uh, Peter McNichol, uh, uh, Gil Bellows, Courtney Thorne Smith, Lucy Liu. Uh, there's some others. But though that's the that's the that's the core cast of people who will just crack you up. The guy who plays Richard Fish, I don't remember his name in real life, but for the longest time in high school, I used to walk around all the time. Anytime someone would piss me off or I would piss someone else off, I would just say bygones and be done with it. Just be done with it. And I really need to be I really need to be back into that mind frame at work. I need to be like bygones, just not deal with it. Anyway, um, if you guys liked today's episode and you want to see more better episodes, honestly, because I'm low energy today, um, go check out my YouTube. Now, some of the videos I don't have to upload anymore because we're live streaming it on YouTube and it saves it. So if you don't see today's episode or the last couple of episodes on the playlist, there's switch over to the live tab. There's the there's the I think there, there, there's the video tab and then there's the live tab. Look on those. I've already got like three or four videos in there. This one here will be added as well. And I've got to go to Facebook to see if this actually worked. If this actually went to Facebook. Because I don't have it pulled up. I have no way of knowing if this actually like got viewed or anything. So I'm going to do a little bit of homework on that. I may not do it today. I might do it tomorrow. Because you know, you guys know, once I, once I turn this off, that's it. It's a wrap. And... Hoppy is actually hungry as well. He wants a cheeseburger as well. He's like me. He doesn't want fries. Um, thank you guys so much. Please check out my socials. I have my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter, my YouTube, and my Patreon listed. I also have listed below the Robots Radio Network and my suggestion box. I started to create like a tip thing for this, but then I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that at all. So, instead of that, um, I'm actually going to do something for you guys. I'm going to reopen the Discord for anyone who views to join. And I for Patreons, so they still have something to look forward to in Discord, I'm going to create a Patreon channel specifically for them where they can hang out and share things and ask questions and talk to me personally. I mean, I talk to everybody in my Discord, but this will be a like a Patreon level only um, channel in the Discord, but I'm, I'm going to reopen the Discord up to everyone, and I'll just add a link below so you guys can hop in and hang out and ask questions and see what other games I'm playing. Um, I, I'll, you know, I share my day-to-day -day sometimes. I upload pictures, uh, screenshots from games, just wise words I, I hear or see or, some, or even memes. I, it's just a, a hodgepodge of things on there. But anyway, check all that stuff out. Check out my Patreon if you'd like. Consider supporting. In the meantime, I will catch you guys tomorrow where we will finish this week's uh, stream schedule of um, 
fallout and next week um, on Monday we will be starting back on ESO we will be back to ESO um, I haven't touched that character I've played a little bit of my own personal character in a different expansion but I'm not playing that character unless you guys are watching because it's not just my character it's y'all's as well it's our character I feel like a multiple personality anyway um, you guys have a great day be safe be kind and I will catch you tomorrow